guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video in today's video I'm going to be telling you exactly how to ace any nursing school entrance exam those nursing school entrance exams carry a lot of weight and it is one of the most important factors that is going to determine if you get into a nursing program or not so if you want to know how to ace your nursing entrance exam please stay tuned for this video and also make sure you watch all the way till the end so you don't miss anything important with that being said let's get into today's video Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Mercy. I am a BS and RN. And on this channel, I talk about nursing, lifestyle, beauty, vlogs, and a lot of other good stuff. So if you would like to join my family, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And also remember to hit the notification button so that every time I upload a video, you get a notification so that you don't miss any more of my videos. So with that being said, let's get into today's topic. So the nursing entrance exam is very, very important. That exam is going to determine what colleges are going to accept you or even if you get into the college that you want to go to I started my nursing journey all the way back in 2012 where I took my first entrance exam I've taken both the HESI and the TEAS exams and I did very very well in both of them when I did my LPN program I had to do the TEAS exam when I did my BSN program I had to take the HESI exam and I scored very very well on both of them and I was able to get into the nursing school I wanted to go to so I just wanted to share all the tips that I use so that you guys can be successful Successful as well. I'm going to be telling you what books to use, where to get those books from, and what specific strategies you should use in order to pass those exams. First, let me tell you what books I've used and then where to get those books from. For the HESI exam, I use the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review. And then for the TEAS test, I use the ATI TEAS Study Guide Review version 6. So don't worry about writing those down right now because I'm going to put them down in the description box. So now I'm going to tell you exactly where to get those books from. There are many, many ways that you can access these books. Books. I wish I can show you the live version of these books but I do not have those books simply because I have borrowed those books to either a friend or family members. First of all ask your school the specific test they're going to be testing you on so whether it's the TEAS or the HESI exam make sure you know which one to study for. Secondly ask them what session of those tests they want you to study for because sometimes some schools don't test you on everything but sometimes they test you on everything as well so it all depends on the school. The great way to get through life is to ask questions please guys whatever you do in life if you don't know or if you're not sure please ask questions there is absolutely nothing wrong with asking questions so ask your school what book they want you to use and what session of the book they want you to study so once you know all of that some places you can go to purchase this book is either Barnes and Nobles Amazon or any of those um sell back websites like let go offer up and stuff like that I personally think that purchasing the book is the best way to go about it because that way you know that it's yours you can use it at any time and you're not pressured to turn it back in or to give it back to the person you got it from but if you don't have the resources to purchase the book other ways you can get the book is from your school once again ask your school if they're either selling it or if they have it in their library so you can borrow from them if they do go ahead and get it from them if not go to the public library I feel like a lot of people don't know about this and I don't know why the public library has a lot of free resources for people to use look around your state or your city look and see if any of the public libraries carry those books and if they do go ahead and check those books out because I think you can have it for up to three weeks and when you turn it back in if you still need more time with it you can go ahead and re um, order or re reserve it for yourself another way to get it is if you have a friend or a family who has the book so those are the ways that you can get the books so once you get the book now it's time to plan your studying I would say the best way to do this is please give yourself a lot of time don't schedule to take the test a week from now and try to learn everything in a week you're only gonna set yourself up for failure if I didn't say this before this test carries a lot of weight this is going to determine if you get into the program so please don't take it for granted it's very very important that you give yourself a lot of time to study for this stuff so I would say about a month to two months you may not need up to two months but at least a month is adequate so once you schedule that time break everything up in session so you have your math 
English, science, and reading. Break it down session by session and week by week and spend the whole week on one subject. Make sure you understand it very well. Make sure at the end of every session, you're testing yourself or quizzing yourself to make sure you really, really understand the concept. Also, to help you understand those sessions even better, go to YouTube, go to Google, Quizlet, everywhere that you can find those nursing resources. Search those topics and make sure you just have a great understanding of it. Because let me give you this example if you had an interview at your dream job let's say the manager gives you a list of questions that they're going to be asking you when you prepare yourself when you sit there and study all those questions and get the answers to those questions it's the same thing here these books are almost like a cheat sheet there is resources out there for anything you want to do in life and the nursing entrance exam is no exception to that so break those down session by session little by little and study them and make sure you understand the concept so for the science section for example make sure you understand the body system make sure you know how the blood flows through the heart or through the body the book tells you specifically what the test is going to ask you so you literally have the resource right there just anything you can do to reinforce that concept go ahead and do it for the reading section make sure you read the passages very well and make sure you understand them and sometimes depending on whether it's the T's or the HESI most times you have the opportunity to go back and read the passage for for me what I did was I read the passage made sure I understood it I went ahead and read the questions and then went back and read the passage one more time you also have to keep your time in mind don't spend 85 hours on one section because then you won't have time to do the rest of the other ones after you read the passage the questions usually focuses on specific paragraphs from the passage once you're reading a question go back and read that paragraph and see if you can get more information from there for the math section the math is very simple and trust me I'm not even the best math person out there math is not super hard for me but it's not my favorite subject and I can tell you honestly that the math is one of the easiest because from the study guides you get the exact same questions but the only difference is on the test is going to be different numbers so some of the things that they'll ask you on the math is proportions ratios decimal how to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit military time fraction simple adding subtracting dividing multiplying order of operation decimals into fractions and vice versa the difference between a negative number and a positive number just simple things like that and the great thing again is you have all those sample questions in the study guide so if you're not good at math maybe get a tutor or maybe go to the public library for the English section what I would say is if your English is really bad it doesn't matter if English is your second language or not not. we as a society speak really really bad English and they test you on that so punctuation spelling grammar they'll ask you whether this is a subject a noun verb all of that stuff again there is samples of everything in the book so just pay attention to things like prefix suffix verb subject spelling comma punctuation just everything it takes you way way back to middle school y'all but you guys can do this so just pay attention to things like that so some Something I forgot to say was before you take the exam make sure you understand which one of these subjects are harder for you once you understand that I personally would say do those ones first and then go in that order so do the hardest to the easiest because you're obviously going to spend more time on the hardest things so go in that order do the hardest the second hardest and then once you get to the easiest part you know you can just fly through it and be done with it there's also usually a built-in calculator for the math section so make sure you're able to access that as well before you take your exam just some basic things I wanted you to remember get a lot of rest the night before eat a light filling breakfast and dress very comfortably also on the day of the exam things you want to do is pray if you're a praying person take your time don't rush through it think positive because a positive mind produces positive things and just relax you can do this this is not rocket science because this is going to sound cliche but if I can do it all of you guys can do it trust me when I say this there is millions of nurses out there none of them are smarter or better than you we all had to go through the same route so just take your time 
Pray about it, relax yourself, and I promise you, you will come out with a great result and you will be able to get in the college or the nursing school of your dream. So that is it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Please leave your comments down below. I love interacting with you guys and I love feeling like I've helped you guys. Share the video to your friends who may be wanting to hear this. I trust that you can do it. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for watching the entire video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.